In a previous video, I went over the brand new Bscript DOF MK2 that works with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I showed it working with the Bscript Pro. That's all I had at the time because they didn't have the Beast Cage out yet for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but now they do. So in this video, I'm gonna take a quick look at the Beast Cage the DOF MK2 with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and a brand new lens I picked up specifically for this rig. Learn how to turn your smartphone into a professional quality video camera. Be sure to check out our mobile filmmaking courses. And also don't forget, we have a companion filmmaking podcast. Links are in the description. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun at the workbench today looking at some new gear. And this is the Beast Script Cage, the Beast Cage. And I've got the DOF MK2 connected to a Miticon 35 millimeter full frame EF mount lens. And I've got the Freewell Variable ND on here. It's a two to five stop. In the previous video I mentioned, I was using the Bscript Pro. Now the Bscript Pro is great because it's universal. They also updated the mount for it for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And so if you use this, you have to have the new mount to work with the new DOF MK2. And you also have to have the updated DOF MK2. Without it, the iPhone 12 Pro Max won't focus properly. Because of the larger sensor, and I'm assuming the placement of the sensor within the phone, it doesn't have the same macro abilities as the previous phones. You can't focus quite as close as you could in the previous models. So what's great about using the Beast Cage in this setup is you just take the DOF MK2 and it mounts the exact same place every time. So then all you gotta do is grab it and go shoot. And so that's what I decided to test today. The lens sharpness, this new lens, along with the Beast Cage. This is a very quick test. I'm planning to do a lot more with this and go into more in-depth ways to shoot with this and more cinematic situations, including using log. My stuff I shot today was Filmic Pro 10-bit, but I shot in natural just to see how that would work. All right, now we'll check out the test footage I shot around my house. And again, more footage, more detailed test footage will be coming soon.
I think that looks pretty great. I'm actually super impressed by the combination of everything going here. And in particular, the lens working with the DOF MK2. This lens I like so much, this Miticon 35 millimeter, it's an F 2.0, that I've decided to buy the 85 millimeter version. And I'm gonna put it with this kit as well. The longer lenses tend to work better. This is kind of wide in quotes for this setup. But again, I think it looks great. And the cool thing about this glass, of course, is you can use it with traditional setups. I'm gonna pair this with my Blackmagic camera, any EF mount, and it is full frame, which is great. And again, I thought the sharpness was very good with this lens. And so what's cool about it in my mind is it's modern glass with a vintage vibe. It has a creamy look, which I love. It's very cinematic. Again, I'll be doing more testing soon, and this time I will get some people involved and maybe even do a short film. But I'm pretty impressed, actually really impressed, with what you can get with this 12 Pro Max, Beast Cage, DOF, and vintage type glass combination. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.